I'm out. Oh, no. I am done. Mm -mm. It is over. Mm -mm. I am waiting till next year. Mm -mm. That's what it means. Mm -mm. Nope. Yep. No, I ain't letting you. I'm sorry, but I'm just out because this guy is everything to this team. It will take a miracle for this team to win this game, especially this game, without that guy. And I have been very consistent. This isn't 2020 hindsight. I have told you up front all along, this defense goes as Sean Lee goes. And without him, it just routinely, predictably goes south. And as you know, it's basically a starless <coughs> defense except for this one incredibly unsung, outrageously underrated middle linebacker named Sean Lee. Mm -hmm. And again, Keekley gets all the credit. He had a big interception last hey, you, night of Jay Cutler. I, I talk about that later. He, we're definitely going to talk about that later. But he gets all the shine, and somewhere in the shadows is the most valuable player to any defense in the National Football League, Sean Lee, who again has pulled his hamstring. I have campaigned for this defense to sign Revis or Cromarty, but nope, they said they're going to stick with the kids. And they got kids everywhere in the secondary and even in the defensive front. This is the second youngest team in all of pro football, and it has trouble. It loses its heart and its soul and its way without Sean Lee because it needs a quarterback, it needs a compass, it needs an organizer, it needs a signal caller, it needs a playmaker in the middle of it, it needs a middle linebacker who can cover, as well as Keekly can cover, who can plug with anybody, and who can rush the passer. So he, he does all three things. He's an every down inside linebacker for Rod Marinelli's scheme. And they say the scheme is the star of this defense. But the, without that one star, the unsung player in the middle, it goes nowhere. And I can just show you chapter and verse. With Sean Lee, the Cowboys hang on and beat the Rams at Jerry World. With Sean Lee, the Cowboys hang on and beat Aaron Rodgers at Jerry World. With Sean Lee, the Cowboys hang on and beat Matt Ryan and the Falcons in Atlanta. Yes, sir. They would have won all three of those games with Sean Lee, and they would now be 8-1. and one. And with Sean oh, Lee, they would beat the Philadelphia Eagles. It's as simple as that. That's how much he means to this defense. So this offense, I think Tyron Smith, he's 50-50 to play. I'm going to guess or bet that he does play. So this offense will be okay without Ezekiel Elliott. It won't be as good, but it'll be okay. It can still score 21 on Philadelphia's defense this Sunday night. But without Sean Lee, look out. Look out below because here comes an Eagles offense that is ranked second in scoring points in the National Football League. They're averaging the Eagles 31 points a game. So with no Sean Lee, they're going to score 30. So bottom line, it will take a miracle. Bottom line, the Cowboys are a three-and-a-half-point underdog at home, and they seriously, without Sean Lee, that spread should be Dallas getting eight or nine points at home because that's how big an underdog they are without that player. It's a loss, Skip. Injuries are a part of football. Mm. Um, you lucked out. Oh, I mean. You lucked out. Green it's Bay okay. and crying. Aaron mm. Rodgers is gone. Let me ask you a question. Skip. Well, they're gone, too. If you don't I'll mind, give if, you that. If you don't mind me asking. Is Eric Berry as important to the Chiefs' defense as Sean Lee is to the Heck Cowboys? No, no. They got Justin Houston. My God, come on. Skip. They got Tom Bahali. Skip, you saw what they did mm -hmm. to the New they England Patriots. They got Marcus Patriots. Peters. Hold on, hold on Skip. You saw, Cowboys have Marcus Peters. You saw what he, they did to New England. What Eric Berry was mm -hmm. able He's to great. do to Rob Gronkowski. He did a great. He did. Earl a Thomas runner. missed, a, missed mm -hmm. broke his leg last year. Hey, mm -hmm. he's still struggling. See, I thought the Cowboys. You know why? Because what does Sean Lee injury history tell you? Since he's been with the Cowboys, what does his history tell you, Skip Bayless? He plays too hard and blows himself up. <laughs> no, that's not what it tells mm -hmm. you. His history tells you at some point in time during the season, he will miss time. A hamstring pull? Really? Sean Lee? And did you see the play the other day? It was like nondescript. He just gets a little shove in the back. Oh, it goes again. Remember I told you. That's what got me upset at practice. I know. When guys would you tug did. me. You I'm said that. You it, said it. it. I know. People think you only pull a hamstring when you're bursting. Mm -hmm. But just that, he was trying to stop himself, and it gave again. You see, Skip Bayless, I fought the Cowboys. You know why? Because you should have been having, you should have been drafting. See, you drafted people. You draft Jalen Smith, Skip. 
He was second round, but he had the injury history. You took Randy Gregory in the second round, but he had a, a drug history. Mm -hmm. So, and all the other guys, you're getting in the fifth and sixth round, so you didn't have adequate replacements for Sean Lee. Given his injury history, which you knew full well about, Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few segments from the newest show on FS1, First Things First, with Chris Carter and Nick Wright.